in so many ways, you're trying to control the world around you. So in this meditation, we're going to be coming back to the present moment. We're going to be coming back to our bodies. We're going to be coming back to our place of true power. So let's begin by just closing our eyes and inviting attention back into this moment. What's this moment like? We're coming back to this question at the heart of meditation, at the core of meditation. What's it like to be alive? What's it like to be you on this day, in this unique moment of your life, this unique scene in the movie called My Life? We're coming back to our raw moment by moment experience and we're remembering And this remembering is at the heart of meditation. We're remembering that we only ever have to deal with this moment. That life is never bigger than this moment. That we only ever have to face a single moment. Sometimes life can seem so overwhelming when we're caught up in the past and future. And we forget that there's only now. Only these sights and sounds and smells and thoughts and feelings. We forget the aliveness that's all around us, that's within us. So inviting your attention now back into this moment, becoming curious about this moment. What's it like to be alive? Noticing all the sounds around you. Feeling your feet on the ground. Noticing the sensations there. Noticing the places of contact between your body and the ground, or your body and the chair, or the bed. Noticing the expression on your face. What's it like to have a face? What's it like to have hands? Right now, not thinking about your hands, but going to your hands with your attention. Becoming familiar with your hands as if you've never experienced hands before. Coming back to this brand new moment. Noticing all the tingly, alive sensations in your hands. Sensations of warmth, of coldness, soft sensations, sharp sensations. Also noticing lack of sensations. Remember, we're not trying to create sensations or get rid of sensations. Just letting the hands be as they are. Noticing all the sensations in the feet. What's it like to have feet? Not thinking about your feet or remembering your feet or imagining your feet, but going to your feet with your attention, with your awareness. Bringing this curious, open, loving awareness to your feet. These poor old feet that have been holding you up all day. What are they like? What's it like to have feet? Noticing all the tingly alive sensations. Any sensations of fluttering or pulsating, aching, warm sensations, cool sensations, sharp sensations, soft sensations. Also noticing lack of sensations, areas that feel more alive, less alive. Now going to your breath. What's it like to breathe? Not remembering your breath or imagining breathing, but actually going now to your breath with your awareness, attending to your breath. What's it like to breathe? We're coming out of the past and future now. We're coming out of the storyline. Bringing the focus away from All the things in the future that you have to do. All the tasks that remain uncompleted. Problems that remain unsolved, unresolved. We'll tend to all of that later. Right now we're giving ourselves this great gift of taking a sacred pause and coming out of our storyline, the movie of my life. And coming back to life, coming back to the breath, attending to the breath, noticing those rising and falling sensations in the chest, in the belly, 
going to those rising and falling sensations with your attention. Where do you feel those rising sensations and falling sensations the most strongly? Just letting the breath be natural. Not trying to control the breath. Not trying to breathe in a special way. We're not even trying to do meditative breaths. We're just letting the body breathe right now in the way it wants to breathe. Notice if there's any sense of trying to hold the breath or trying to control the breath. Can you just gently soften any sense of holding or controlling the breath? Just noticing those rising and falling sensations, letting the belly rise and fall in its own time, in its own way. Trusting the body to breathe. Just spending a few moments attending to the rising and falling breath. Letting the breath remind you that there's only this moment. Opening up to all the sounds around you. Being fascinated with all the sounds of this moment. As the breath rises and falls, becoming aware of the soundtrack to this present scene. Opening up to hearing all the sounds of the present moment. What do you notice? Maybe the sound of this voice. Maybe the sound of your own breathing. Maybe the sound of chattering in the distance. Or the sound of the air conditioning. Noises from outside, maybe. Cars going by. Also noticing now all the silence around you. Often we pay so much attention to the sounds themselves that we miss. There's so much silence between the sounds. Just opening up your awareness now to all the silence around you, the vast ocean of silence. Silence in between sounds in between breaths, silence in between words. Noticing how hearing now is happening effortlessly. There's nothing you have to do to hear. These sounds just arise in your awareness without you having to do anything. This effortless hearing is always happening. Sounds are being received effortlessly in awareness. Sounds are appearing spontaneously in awareness. No effort required. Spending a few moments with all the sounds of this moment as they arise effortlessly. Also noticing the silence that's all around you. The ocean of silence out of which all the noises appear and disappear. Imagining that silence itself is a vast ocean. And the sounds are just waves coming and going, arising and dissolving. Dissolving back into silence. And now is it possible to... Become aware of all the thoughts going on in your head. Is the mind very active right now? Or is the mind more quiet? Remember, in meditation, we're not trying to stop thinking. In meditation, we're not trying to silence thoughts. In the same way, we're not trying to silence sounds. We're actually allowing sounds to come and go in this space of fascination. So we're not trying to stop thoughts. We're not trying to stop the mind. Can you just be curious right now? Is the mind really loud? Are there lots of thoughts appearing and disappearing 
Lots of voices in their head, images, memories of past scenes, fantasies about future scenes. All the things that you have to do today, tomorrow, next week, next year. Just notice how all those pictures, images, voices are appearing now. Like clouds in the sky, like waves in the ocean. And right now, not trying to stop those thoughts. But actually just being aware of them. Allowing them. As if you are the sky and these thoughts are weather. And yes, sometimes the weather can be noisy, intense. Sometimes there's lots of thoughts. Maybe now you notice that the mind is very loud, messy. The important thing is that right now you are aware of the mind. You're aware of this picture show that is the mind. You are that which is aware of the mind. So you know very deeply now that you are not the mind. Because you can be aware of the mind. You can notice all of these thoughts. Just like sounds coming and going, you can notice thoughts coming and going. Thoughts about the past, thoughts about the future, fantasies, fears. Just for a moment, can you actually allow all of this mind activity to be here? you can be aware of thoughts, you know that you are not those thoughts. If you were the thoughts, you wouldn't be able to be aware of them now. So if you can be aware of these thoughts now, you know that you are already bigger than these thoughts. You are the space, the awareness in which these thoughts are allowed to come and go. They're allowed to arise, stay for a while and pass. You can imagine that you are a, a vast, alive movie screen, the movie screen of awareness. And these pictures, these thoughts, these memories, these imaginations, they are pictures, scenes coming and going on the screen, the screen of awareness, the screen of you. And as the screen, you can naturally, effortlessly allow all these thoughts, thoughts about the past, thoughts about the future, to come and go. Right now, we're not trying to stop thoughts. We're not interfering with thoughts. We're remembering who we are, knowing who we are, which is bigger than thoughts, the space, the vastness, the screen, the sky, in which all of these thoughts are allowed to come, stay for a while and pass. This picture show, ever changing. And as awareness, we remain unchanged, unmoving, pure presence, knowing yourself now as the presence in which all of these thoughts are allowed to come and go. Even a thought that says, I'm having too many thoughts. Can you even allow that thought? Or a thought that says, I should be able to stop these thoughts, or I should be able to silence these thoughts. Can you even allow that thought? Remember, you are bigger than thoughts. You are the space for thoughts. You are the home for thoughts. You are the vast awareness in which thoughts can appear and disappear, just like the sounds rising and falling, just like the breath rising and falling. You're the space for all of this. You are the now. You can't be in the now or out of the now. You are the now, the presence, the space. A thought may come and say that you're in the now or you're out of the now, but both of those thoughts are happening now. Thoughts about the past come they're happening now. Thoughts about the future come. They're happening now. Thoughts about being in the now or not being in the now. All those thoughts can come, stay for a while, disappear. 
be presence, be what you are. Bringing our focus back to this moment, this sacred, unique moment of our lives. And now turning towards the body. Not thinking about the body or imagining the body, but going to our experience, going to our raw moment by moment experience of the body. Are there any parts of the body right now that feel tense or tight or tender or contracted? Are there any parts of your body right now that are calling for attention? Maybe you notice a pressure in the head right now. This is often a place where we hold tension. Maybe you notice a tightness, a contracted feeling in the head, a heaviness in the head. Just for a moment, let's not try and fix that or get rid of it. We're not even trying to make it go away, the heaviness. Can we actually embrace this sense of heaviness in this expanded awareness? Be present with those sensations. Maybe this is just a part of our body that is asking for love, asking for acceptance, asking to be allowed. Just noticing all the sensations there in the head. And if you'd like to, you can feel or imagine some of your breath moving into the head, moving into those sensations. So you're breathing into the head or breathing through the head. You're including the head in the flow of breath. You can feel or you can imagine oxygen flowing into the head, flowing into those sensations, infusing these sensations with oxygen with life energy, with compassion, with light, whatever word works for you. A sense of embracing what's here, instead of trying to get rid of it or fix it or cure it, mend it, even heal it. We're not trying to push these sensations away, but we're actually including them in our embrace, in the embrace of awareness. This weather is actually allowed in the vast sky that we are, blessing the head with our attention, which is the greatest blessing, allowing those sensations in the head, noticing if those sensations want to disappear, if they want to become more intense, if they want to begin to dissipate, if they want to move, Remember, we're not looking for any particular result. We're not trying to stop these sensations or silence these sensations. Embracing these sensations in the warmth of awareness, breathing into them, infusing them with oxygen. So just go to any part of your body now that is calling for attention. Often the body calls to us through pain, through discomfort, through tightness. So quickly we go into our heads. How can we get rid of this? How can we fix this? How can we be free from this? But in meditation, in true meditation, we're coming out of that paradigm of getting rid of, resisting. And we're moving into this natural paradigm of allowing. Because this is our true nature as awareness, is to allow, to embrace effortlessly. Not how can I be free from these sensations, but can I give these sensations freedom to be here? It's the true freedom, the permission, giving these sensations permission to be here. So you can bring the sense of permission to any part of your body that's calling for it. Maybe you notice a tightness in the face, in the jaw, often an area that we hold, tightness, tension. Just allowing those sensations, bringing the warmth of awareness there, breathing into those sensations, allowing, allowing. Not trying to make them go away. 
when you're allowing these sensations, what you're really doing is blessing the body. You're blessing the head, you're thanking it, blessing the face, blessing the jaw with your attention, with your breath. You're saying to these parts of your body, it's okay. It's okay that you feel a little bit tight right now or tender or contracted or pressured. It's okay. It's okay. And coming back to this place of deep okayness with life. Maybe you can say to the shoulders, it's okay if you feel a little bit tight right now. Becoming curious about those sensations of tightness, breathing into them, allowing them, allowing the sensations to say if they want to, to leave if they want to, to become more intense, less intense, to dissipate, to expand, to remain. There's no pressure. No pressure for the body to be anything other than what it is. This is an embrace of the body exactly as it is in this moment of our lives. Even with its discomfort, even with its tension, we're blessing it exactly as it is. We're coming back to this unconditionally loving voice of meditation. It says to the body, hey, you're, you're beautiful as you are, you're perfect as you are, even with your discomfort, even with your tension, your tightness. We're coming out of the complicated storyline of our lives. And we're coming back to the simplicity of this moment. We're radically slowing down. Taking our focus off the past and future and becoming very, very interested in ourselves as we are. Drenching ourselves with this attention, which is love, this curious, fascinated attention which isn't punishing us for being the way we are, quite the opposite. It's, it's embracing us as we are. Maybe you notice a tightness in the throat or the chest, a closed feeling, a feeling of holding. It's all okay. It can be allowed. You can breathe into it. Give it permission to be here. Maybe you notice a fluttery feeling in the belly, an empty feeling in the belly, a tight feeling in the belly. That's okay. You're not doing anything wrong. We're coming out of the paradigm of right and wrong. Remember, no sensation is a mistake. No sensation is wrong. No sensation is inherently negative. You're not doing anything wrong. You haven't failed in some way. We're coming out of that whole narrative of success and failure, right and wrong, and we're bringing our attention back to raw sensation moment by moment in the body. Allowing the sensations there in the belly, breathing into them, infusing them with life, with oxygen, with kindness, thanking the belly, Thanking the chest, thanking the throat, thanking the shoulders, the head. It's now just bringing this warm, open, curious attention to the entire body. Flushing the body with awareness. And oxygen. So the body is embraced exactly as it is. The light of awareness shining on the body exactly as it is. Not trying to fix it or change it, not punishing it. Remember, we're not trying to stop thoughts. If you notice lots of thoughts coming and going, that's okay. You can give all thoughts permission to be here in this space of meditation. If you find yourself getting too 
caught up in those thoughts, if you find yourself wandering off into the future, that's okay. That's an old habit, and you can invite your attention back into this moment. Come back to those sensations in your in your heart, in your belly, allowing in the same way that the bed you're lying on or the chair that you're sitting on or the ground that you're standing on now is allowing you, is embracing you, is holding you exactly as you are. The sense of being held exactly as you are being supported by life exactly as you are. Notice if you start thinking about your life again. If your attention wanders off into the narrative of your life, of what's happened in the past, what may or may not happen in the future. And you can acknowledge that you've left the present moment and it's okay. And please don't punish yourself for this. It's just a habit. And what we're doing in meditation is we're starting to break this habit. And it's wonderful that you noticed. You noticed that you left the present moment and you went off into the narrative. So you can gently invite yourself back here. You can become aware of your feet on the ground. You can become aware of the breath rising and falling. You can become aware of all the sounds of this moment. Loud sounds, soft sounds, near sounds, far sounds. You can become aware of all the thoughts chattering in your head. Remember, if you're aware of thoughts, then you're not caught up in them. You can be aware of thoughts. You can be aware of the body. You can be aware of a sense of pressure in the head or a a spacious feeling in the chest or a tight feeling in the belly. You can be aware of raw sensation, moment by moment sensation. You don't have to punish yourself for getting lost in the narrative of past and future. You can always bring yourself back to this moment, which is always waiting for you. When you're ready, you can just gently allow your eyes to open and notice if this sense of presence, if this sense of stillness, if this sense of being awareness remains as the visual world appears again. And throughout your day, in any moment, you can notice if you're caught up in past and future, if you're focusing on all those lists of things you have to do and becoming overwhelmed by everything you have to do. And you can take a sacred pause and come back to this moment and remember that you can only ever do one thing at a time. You can't do 10, 20, 30 things at a time. You can only ever do one thing at a time. Life is lived moment to moment. And you're never actually given more than you can deal with. And when you're in your head, life can seem too much. It can seem overwhelming. It can seem too epic. But when you're in the moment and when you're connected with your breath, with your body, with your feelings, life feels a lot simpler and much more manageable. And then you can just do one thing from this place of presence and slowness. And with your attention deeply rooted in the present moment, you can just do the next thing. And remember, you can only ever do one thing at a time. The mind may say, oh, I have a hundred things to do. But the actual truth, the reality, is that you can only ever do one thing. This thing. You can't take a hundred steps right now. You can only take one step. This step. And you can take this step with attention, curiosity, presence. Thank you so much for listening.